I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey RHS, I'm Ray Soria. And I'm Grace Wagoner, and this is Your Daily Dose for Thursday, November 15th, 2018. Band Sweetheart is this Saturday. This is a closed dance for the music department students, however, non-music students can still attend if sponsored by a music student. Tickets are $20 and include a catered meal. Tickets can be bought from Mr. D'Angelo or Mrs. Kane. The new Why Not History elective has a semester-long project that gives students a chance to learn in depth about an area of their city. Hey there, RHS. The students of the new Why Not History class have been doing a project and today we want to go look and see more about it. What is your project about? Uh, about the city blocks and Why Not. So right now we're collecting addresses for a street and soon we're going to have to interview someone on that block about their house. So the project is going to a block in Wyandotte, a lot, of, a lot of kids, it's their actual block or their grandparents live there, they used to live there, and becoming experts on it. Who lives there now? Who used to live there? Were there any uh, houses that used to be there and no longer there? Is there any uh, businesses there or that used to be there? So just kind of find out the history of their block. How did you choose your block? Uh, I just choose it. Um, I just choose the block I live on. Why is this project related to the class? So our class is, of course, one to history, and I think every single block has its own little history. So we're really trying to focus on that and find out, um, you know, put all those together. And once they present them, everybody have a well-rounded view of the different parts of Wyandotte. It won't be every single street, but it'll be a lot of them. Because uh, the class is Wyandotte history, and it's all about the history about Wyandotte. And, yeah. Um, because we're learning about Wyandotte, and we're going to be learning about different houses in Wyandotte and the people who live in there. Um, what do you hope the kids take away from this project? Just a deeper connection to the city. I love the city. I'm from here. Um, so when this class became available, it's something that I definitely wanted to do. Um, so I think that they'll just get a lot out of it and find out you know, more about where they're from. That gets you deeper roots. Even if you leave, at some point you may come back uh, because of the connection to wind up. Sounds great. Back to the anchors. This new class offers tons of insight into our historic little town. Don't forget, Art Club is meeting today after school in the Art Room, and the Homework Den continues after school today in the LMC. Stop by if you need some extra help in any subject. Teachers will be there to help. Additionally, the fall play, It's a Wonderful Life, is fast approaching, but Mr. Ramirez is also already thinking about the spring musical. Everyone interested in auditioning for the mu spring musical Freaky Friday can pick up an audition packet from Mr. Ramirez after school in the auditorium. Auditions will start Tuesday, December 11th at 1, and Wednesday, December 12th at 3 in the auditorium. You must attend both auditions in order to be considered for casting. Don't miss out on the chance to be in the first high school theater in Michigan to perform a brand new musical. Here are RHS DECA projects never stop. This year, they have once again teamed up with hockey. At the hockey game, November 28th, there is a Hopes for Heart fundraiser. You can go to Miss Comiskey for order forms that are due November 16th. You can order shirts for 10, long sleeves for 15, crew necks for 23, and hoodies for 26. The game will be the home opener on November 28th. Proceeds benefit the Hope for Hearts Foundation, which supports congenital heart disease. You can help right now by buying a jersey sponsorship or a t-shirt from DECA. If you haven't heard, Wine.Tees has expanded their capabilities with their new Cricut. Hey RHS, did you know the marketing program has a new way that you can custom make and design shirts? What made you want to buy the Cricut? We wanted to buy the Cricut because it helps us create some designs in-house that we don't have to do through the screen printing process. How did you learn how to use the Cricut? So when Comiskey first got the Cricut, she thought it was a great idea, but she didn't want to learn how to use it. So she told me to learn, but there was also a junior that already knew how to use the Cricut because her mom does it. So I left it to her for a while, and then after so long, it was just hard to only have one person knowing how to do it. And since I have Comiskey a lot more during the day, I kind of just watched her and like taught myself how to do it, looked up online, and like basically just kind of went through and made some mistakes and learned how to do it myself. What are your future plans for the cricket? We just want people to know that we can do personalization, like this here. So if someone has an order that they want to do uh, for a specific 
party or a specific theme, uh, we can go ahead and do custom designs right here. In our I got classroom. everything. What is the cricket? So the physical cricket just cuts the vinyl and then we really made. I use it's a lot of that never mind what I got. And we press it on the shirt so you can basically go on your phone or like the computer and design any type of t-shirt that you want. And then we can cut it on the vinyl. Came and then we press up, it onto a t-shirt. Stay and then true, that's all me. No help. What can be made with the cricket? T-shirts. The actual cricket it can only make like the cutouts of the vinyl or stickers, so you, we can make decals that we can put on cars or windows. So with the actual cricket, it's only the vinyl and the stickers. But all together, what we can do with it is make T-shirts and stickers, and we can put things on cups. We can put things on. Um, we do bandanas for the football games. There's a bunch of stuff that we do with it. Wow, such a cool way to personalize and design your own shirts. Now back to the anchors. Stop by wine.tees to get any special request shirt, mug, or whatever you can think of. Don't forget to let your parents know that conferences are tonight from 5.30 to 8. The yearbooks will be on sale at conferences for $55. Jostens will be here at all lunches to date to collect order forms for both class rings and caps and gowns. Hey RHS, want to show off your bear pride? Head down to Miss Styles' room C-127. Help support your sophomore class by buying a foam finger for $5 or a bear temporary tattoo for $0.50. Cents. Go Bears! Head on down to the art room anytime to get yours. Don't forget that on-site admissions for Michigan State is today. You have been assigned a time. Don't be late. This Friday is third Friday in downtown Wanda. Our choir will be performing at the tree lighting ceremony. Be sure to check that out. Chris. <laughs> yeah. I got a good one. I got a good one. What kind of fruit do you get? from the post office food stamps no no watermelon <laughs> watermelon <laughs> do you get it watermelon <laughs> like watermelon <laughs> uh, no we, we don't have time for that stay 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 hood rhs <laughs> <laughs>